Would you love to learn how to stop procrastinating forever? Well, in this video today, I'm gonna to share with you three things that will cure procrastination forever. You can pass this down to your family line, your children, and your children's children. The three things all boil down to want, elimination, and focus. And I'm gonna jump into these, well, now. Okay, so number one, want. So how many times have you thought about something that you needed to do, right? How does it feel to need to do something? Well, oftentimes it feels burdensome. It feels heavy. It's like, yeah, I really need to do that, right? Versus something that you want to do. How does it feel to want to do something? It feels liberating, right? It feels fun. It feels expressive. It feels creative. It feels like you get an opportunity to accomplish something. So the very first step to eliminating procrastination forever is shifting our vocabulary and our mindset from needing to wanting. Because there are plenty of things that we need to do, right? Yet a lot of those things that we need to do, we don't want to do. And so it feels very heavy. It feels like such a burden to go do those things. And then what happens? Well, we miraculously find something that we will want to go do, or we find an excuse or a reason not to do what we need to do so that we can do what we want to do. You see, humans only do whatever they do for one reason and one reason only. And that's because they want to. We only do what we want to do. Like we don't even do the things that we need to do because we need to do them. We do the things that we need to do because we don't want to experience the consequences of not doing them. And so by finding a way, by shifting our mindset, by shifting our mentality, because the reality is, is we get to choose our experience. We get to decide our experience. We can focus on something either being an opportunity or being a burden. We can either only focus on the problem or we can focus on the solution. And so by shifting our perception, our mindset of on the things that we need to do and turning them around into, I want to do these things because of X, Y, or Z, there won't be an internal conflict anymore. So as opposed to, well, I need to clean my room. It can be, I want to clean my room because it feels amazing to have a clean space. Um, you know, I, I, need to va I, I, need, I need to vacuum, man. I really should vacuum. As opposed to, I want to vacuum because a clean space makes me feel freer. A clean space makes me feel accomplished. And so, even those two... Uh, illustrations of the same scenario, the one where I need to or I should versus I want to because of, you're com we're completing the same task, right? The task is vacuuming or the task is cleaning your room. But the frame around it, the frame of, well, I want to do this because of, well, I want to do that because of, as opposed to I should do it, I need to do that because we will oftentimes find an excuse not to do the things that we need to do until we absolutely need to do them. And in that instance, it's the consequences will be either so dire or so severe or so uncomfortable that there is no other choice. The, the want exceeds or the want to do it exceeds the, the, the want to not do it, right? I, w I would rather do this uncomfortable task right now at the, you know, in the 11th hour than experience the, the consequences and the punishment on the other side. And so we... we we want to, 
we want to change our mentality. We want to change how we view the world, especially those of us who are really struggling with something. And I don't know what that something is. It could be anxiety. It could be depression. It could be anger. It could be rage. There are no excuses. Because we have free will. The only reason we aren't where we want to be in life right now is because we don't want to do the things that are required of us to be the people that we want to be, to do the things that we have to do in order to have the life we desire to have. The other day I was talking with someone and they had said, oh man, I, I really, I really want to learn how to trade futures. I just don't have time. When not two breaths before that, he had said how he loved to get stoned and play MLB The Show, a video game about baseball. You see, we oftentimes don't want success more than we want to just keep doing what we're doing. And this brings us to the second step, elimination. 80% of your life right now is really uh, handicapping your future and your success. 80% of your life right now. Think about how much time you spend doing anything other than advancing yourself, right? You know, doom scrolling on social media, watching entertainment YouTube videos, playing video games, um, you know, your, your work day and watching sports, you know, drinking, um, smoking cigarettes, right? Like, how much of your life currently is taken up by things that are not moving the needle in your favor? Um, I can speak to this personally because I played a lot of video games, a huge video game player. I decided in September of 2023 that I would not play video games until I was a millionaire. And... My life has changed so rapidly since that point that it's hard to put into words the man that I am now versus, for frankly, for lack of the boy I was then. And it doesn't, it doesn't seem like that long ago, but when we're focused, when we want, and when we eliminate, we can experience leaps and bounds in our life that most people don't experience in an entire lifetime. And so by eliminating all of these things that aren't moving the needle in, in your favor, right? Like, what do you want to do more? Do you want to be able to live the life that you live? Do you want to be able to give your, your family and your friends and your children freedom? Do you want to be able to, you know, help change the world do like what do you like truly deeply and honestly desire for your life is it to scroll social media all day is it to play video games all day is it to watch sports and to know every stat about players who don't care about you who never will what is it that you want to do and if it feels like you can't do what you want to do, I would encourage you to think about everything else that you're doing that might be preventing you from becoming the person that you want to become, from living in your purpose, for having the life that you want to have. How many hours a day are you on your phone? How many hours a day are you watching television? 
the secrets of your life, the secret to your success, everything that you need to become the person that you desire to become deep down inside, whether you believe that you can become them or not is irrelevant. I'm not here to argue with you about how great you are because you're greater than you could possibly imagine. That person needs the wisdom and it can be found in books. Like as, as embarrassed as I am to say it, you know, I hadn't read a book between the ages of I mean, like on my own, probably 16 to about 29, except for the Bible. Fortunately, I read that cover to cover. But anything else? No. In the past nine months, I've probably read 30, probably close to 30 books. And that is the biggest contributor to my success because of the wisdom that other people were willing to share. If you're looking for a couple books that uh, will change your life, Thou Shall Prosper. It's a fantastic one. Um, 10X is Easier Than 2X by Dr. Benjamin Hardy. Um, These are a couple of books that when they you know, sink in, you'll see massive, massive jumps in your life because you'll just start eliminating everything that's been holding you back. Like you'll eliminate all the stuff that they the world, the public education system has crammed down your throat and into your head to intentionally handicap you so that you're nothing more than a worker bee, a drone in their cog in, or a, a cog in their machine. 10X is easier than 2X by Dr. Benjamin Hardy is probably the first one that I would recommend reading because it's a little bit of a lighter read. And then Thou Shall Prosper by Rabbi... I don't have my book with me. I'm sure you can find it. Those are the two books that I would recommend for anybody looking to just experience an absolute superhuman, supernatural advancement in their life. To experience success that they couldn't even imagine. When we start to eliminate the distractions, like all of the things that aren't actually helping us, they may make us feel good, but our feelings don't matter. One of the most poisonous world, words in the world is the word nice. The Bible don't talk about being nice. The Bible talks about being kind and gentle. That is ain't nice, okay? Nice is just about not hurting people's feelings. The feel-good movement absolutely destroyed more marriages, more culture, more civilization. I don't want to go down there, I've all... Eliminate everything that isn't moving you in the direction of your future, of you becoming who you were meant to become. Because then you'll never say the words again, well, I don't have time to. Sure you do. It's just taken up by all the distraction in the world right now. Turning this to number three, focus. Now, imagine your want unburdened by the distractions of the world, all of those hours you just gained back overnight. Imagine what you're going to be able to do when you focus. You see, and focus is, it's a particular thing because 
You don't just want to focus on the big picture. Because the reality is, is that the big picture is made up of very tiny mechanisms, principles, foundations, fundamentals that make the big picture move as a whole. You can see it just in our makeup, right? We're made up of atoms. Even though we're an entire body and we have all this whole world, it's made up of atoms and then there's subatomic particles, right? And so the subatomic particles are what make up why this is the way that it is. You're designed by the creator God. And so by not focusing on the overwhelming big picture of, oh, I want to be a millionaire or, oh, I want you know, tens of million dollars or, oh, I want to change the world. Focusing down on what's going to make the biggest impact toward that, right? It's the same thing. Think about a laser, right? Technically, you, if, if you concentrate the beam of a laser, it'll burn through something. Not the same with lights though, right? So I'm being lit, but I'm not being burned. If we concentrate that light down though, it'll burn straight through me. So it's the same idea. Now that we are un, you know, we are unburdened, no, no longer encumbered by distraction, we have a want and we're able to focus on the things that will make the biggest difference, we will see massive leaps because we start to fall in, our lives start to fall into the Pareto principle. You see, what the Pareto principle is, is 20% of your effort will produce 80% of your results. Here's what's interesting. You know, I've heard people say like, oh, you're trying to cheat the system. You're trying to do this. You're trying to do that. Hear me out. Let's say you find the 20% that produces 80% of your results, whatever it is that you're doing, whatever, wherever your life is going to go. I'll take futures, for example. So trading in the commodities market and you know, tra tra you're trading, right? Oil, gold, indices. So if you take the first 20%, you find 20% that produces 80% of the results, Great, perfect. You're going to lose a whole lot less. Okay, now, what happens if you find the 20% of that, right? So we've gone 20% produces 80% of the results, right? What if we then find the 20% of the 20%, right? We take that next step. That 20% produces another 80%. Your results have just doubled. You're now getting 160% out of two steps, out of depth, not breadth. So out of two steps in terms of elimination, right? Because that's what it is. We're only focusing on the 20% and eliminating the 80%, right? So what about this? We eliminate the 80% of that, find the next 20% of that. Okay, and the next step down. Each time you're gaining 80%. Okay, what does that sound like? First step, you gained 80%. Second step, you gained 160%. Third step, you gained 240%. And actually, it's more exponential than that. But the, the fact remains, by, by wanting to live in the purpose of your life and by wanting that life that you desire to have, which will look different for you than it will for me. And by eliminating all of the junk, all of the distractions, and putting your entire focus on only those things that make the biggest impact, you will be able to experience jumps and advancements and successes in your life that will make people say, who is this person? Dude, who are you? Because six months ago, you're not even like, you're, you're unrecognizable from who you were back then. And this, can, this will apply to anything. Not just the purpose of your life, like diet. You want to know the secret to diet? Eliminate. Want, first and foremost. Eliminate. And then focus. You could call it discipline. Well, rather, it's, it's focus and then discipline. But... Oh, you, I want to be healthier. I want my body to be a temple. 
I want to be as absolutely healthy as I can possibly be for my friends, family, and my children. Right? Okay. I need to eliminate all of the garbage. So I'm just going to eliminate all of it. I'm not going to eat it anymore. Now I'm going to focus on making the right decisions. I'm going to focus on not giving in to temptation. That is the secret to dieting. It's not like... I, I don't know what to tell you, like eliminate all of the junk and all of the garbage and figure out what you're allergic to and eliminate that. And then just focus on making the right decisions every day. Move with intention, eat with intention. You can take this same exact system and apply it to anything in life and you will find success at the end. Want to do it. Don't don't need to do it. Forget needing to do it. You don't need to do anything. Right? Unless you're like, you need to eat. Like, need is, will you die if you don't do it? Okay. Most of those needs are taken care of for most people. Unfortunately, if you live in a third world country, not so. This is probably going to be seen mostly by people who are living in developed nations. So your basic needs are probably going to be covered. So really, everything else is a want. And so you need to, rather... You have, if you want the life that you want to have, you have to want to do the things that will create the results that will produce the life, the life that you want. So this is about becoming the person who wants to do the stuff, who eliminates everything that is not helping them, and who is focusing only on the things and the actions that produce the biggest impact toward their purpose and success in life. And then being disciplined. Continuing to do those things. Because next thing you know, you'll look around you and you'll go, how did I get here? I can't believe how close I've always been to having the life that I've always wanted to have. I pray this, this video blessed you. Please, please, I want you to go out there and want to, I want your life, want your success more than you want to do anything else. Create the frame, create the region, whatever, create the context, whatever word resonates most with you. Then eliminate everything else that is pulling you away, that is distracting you. And then focus on only doing the things that will make the biggest impact in your life. And you will cure procrastination forever. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. I pray that you're abundant. I pray that you're, you are made powerful and wealthy and mighty. And that your prosperity is generational. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye for now.